Digestion dishwasher. That's what I call it. So let's take a, a look at our not so happy friend who hasn't quite yet done the uh, the dietary and lifestyle work for improving and loving herself or himself in the solar plexus and the large and small intestine. What happens, seems to happen is the dishwasher. So what happens if you don't empty the dishwasher for say it just gets used for a month. So it goes round and round. Gets a whole lot of hot water going on. There's a lot of heat, there's a lot of humidity. And then what happens if we don't take out the filter? Then naturally the water is going to get a little bit dirty. And we go to put the dishes in again. The water is dirty and the dishes come out dirty. So the water is not getting a chance to recycle itself and to, to be cleansed. Then we end up having a dishwasher that you press two or three times through the cycle, waste a whole lot of water and electricity. Therefore, water leads to dehydration and energy. There was just a lot of extra energy used for something that is quite easy to fix that could be used to fix something else in the body, much more efficient. And if that filter is not taken out for a few months, then a few years, then the dishwasher just gets busted. No good. We have to check it out. And hey, when it comes to a beautiful god or goddess, we don't want to chuck them out. That's not very nice. Now, how about we just pull the plug, pull the filter out, clean it up, and it works much more efficiently. Seem like an easy idea? Yeah, it is. And what happens if we did that on a regular basis? Then our energy would be high, higher, and higher. Yeah. And have we noticed that a lot of people who haven't quite got the digestion sorted yet, and I mean one meal in, one meal out, ideally within an hour or so of putting in the next meal, because that's sufficient. Then how does it come to loving yourself with decisions to improve ourselves and our spiritual path or our personal development? And then we get and decision making. Well, we come through loving myself. I want to do that meditation retreat or fix my digestion or change my diet or go and see someone for some help. It gets to the solar plexus. Uh, if it was a clear decision making, it would be easy, straight through and done. Through the base, down to the chakra, got it done. But often, it comes to the solar plexus, goes around through one organ which is generally emotionally imbalanced then goes through another organ and another one another one and so on and so on and if we've got even two organs imbalanced or all of them and we haven't got a digestive flow then how do we come to a solid decision and to improve and love ourselves when our self is clogged and we don't really know it ourselves because we haven't got to our real selves and our our, our spiritual self and what also came through me is if we've got say we've got our, our digestion in our large or small intestine and we've got blockages here or blockages there all over the place and they end up getting all sorts of yucky stuff as I call it and there's a blockage there and there's a blockage here uh, We've just got three parts to our egoic self or our spiritual self or a bl blockage in between the two. Then how can we achieve oneness when we've got three separate parts of our self or perhaps many, many more? And of course, when these are blocked, then there's a whole bunch of dishwasher action in each section. 
So therefore it makes it very difficult to come up with a key decision when it's going through all these different factors. Um, and of course, if this has got a blockage in these separate sections, that creates a, a warm, moist environment. Guess what grows there? Mucus plaque, more mucus plaque, all over the place. And the more mucus plaque there is, the more storage capacity for toxins. And then when we have a whole bunch of toxins in here, our decisions go through that dishwasher that's dirty. So how do we make clear, concise, balanced, ideally purified decisions that are beautiful for us? It simply doesn't happen. This section is our delusion center. Why is it our delusion center? Because that's the stuff we've acquired that's not us. It's not really us. And when there's a whole bunch of mucus plaque, or I call toxin habitat, guess what grows? Parasites. Parasites. And as we know, the serpent symbolism in all of the different spiritual cultures represents the devil. And hang on, a serpent shape looks like a parasite. So then if we've got a whole bunch of separate sections within our body, we can't get to oneness. We've got a whole lot of toxicity there. We've got a whole lot of parasites causing delusion. And how do we come to a, a clear, concise decision when all of these factors are affecting our real self and our egoic self and the blockage in between? It simply doesn't happen. So until some, we clean out the dishwasher, get it to a nice boom, straight through out and done, nice and balanced, then, you know, then we have to get ourselves and our mind and therefore our, our psyche and our spiritual path in balance. Very helpful. So what would you like to do with your dishwasher? Mm, up to you.